yo, 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 what is up everyone, I'm Soul Wolf, this is Soul Wolf Plays, and today we are back on No Man's Sky, because I wanted to show you guys my bases. Why? Because my bases look really, really cool. So right now, we are currently in my settlement, so let's go ahead and stand up real quick. Ah, the wall! Okay, let's see if we got anything to do for settlement, maybe construction opportunities, environmental control unit, absolutely. Want that for sure? Okay, so let's go ahead and step out here. As you can see, we've got the Blue Sentinel kind of investigating our area. But this is my settlement, guys. As you guys can see, I've been working on getting some things built. We got a. This is a second power substation that I'm working on here, guys. Five carbon nanotubes. I think I will have to break down. Yeah, let's go ahead and break down the dead carbon real fast. Oh, that should give me enough for a few carbon nanotubes. Two. Are you kidding me? 18 more carbon. Oh, wow, you're nice. You're just so nice. Thank you. Um, okay. So we're going to have to collect carbon, but I don't want to do that right now because I'm showing you guys off everything that I've built so far. So this is my settlement. This is my newest acquirement right here, guys. It's got several landing pads, a couple of marketplaces, there's a balloon. Ooh, nice ship there, buddy. The free. Oh, As you guys can see, like it's definitely been really well built. We've got all kinds of fun stuff here. You know, you can see that we've got a good sized settlement now. We've got our little marketplace there. There's another one down over that way. We've got several of these landing pads now, which is great. This here is my class A uh, solar ship. Um, this actually took me forever to get a hold of, guys, so... <sighs> Alright, anyhow... Um... Yeah, I don't actually need to be in that, because we're using the teleporter! Oh god, my jetpack is the coolest thing ever! At least that's my opinion. Alright, so... I'm gonna show you guys the very first outpost I ever made. Which is, this is literally where I found my ship when I first, you know, spawned into the world for the beginning of the, you know, this playthrough. Now, I've actually been playing this game since 2017, guys. I just have not put a lot of hours into it. You guys do know that it's been on the channel for a while. In 2018, right after the next update, I went and posted some gameplay of it. But this is our original base. As you can see, it is dead, there's no power running into it, which means I should probably build my fuel reactor. Luckily, I carry plenty of stuff for that. This isn't going to power up right away, but I will have to make certain I've got everything filled. And I think that I only had one generator here. So I did, yeah, I only had one generator here. But this is my original. You know, this is even my original outpost here, guys. Um, there's just a lot of stuff here. I have a galactic terminal here. I really should add a couple more uh, power generators here. So let's throw a couple of those down. We can now fill them. Since they're in an actual room room, these will power from where they're at. All right. Here. Okay, so that should, yeah, there we go, we got power back into the settlement. Yeah, as you guys can see, this is pretty much the original place that I chose to start a settlement. I actually found my ship just a little ways away from here, it was kind of over that hill over there. But as you can see, we've got humming sacks over here, like right next to the base. And if I wanted to like, grab album and pearls, which early on, you know, that's a great source of income is having those right there. And then I have a hollow terminus right here, which, I, you know, I made certain that once I marked it, that my base was kind of uploaded so that, you know, everybody would know that there's a hollow terminus here. I want to hit our save point real quick. But that's pretty much my first actual outpost. It's been changed since then. Um, let's see here. Let's go over to my outpost that I am currently working on so I can show you guys that. Um, I need to grow more. I think this is the very last thing I need to grow. Alright. 
Oh. Here we go. As you guys can see, this is definitely my active outpost. I've got my um, landing pad here. I've got a couple of my exo stuff here, and then I've got my um, Natalia is actually on a different planet at the moment. But these are my grow room areas. As you can see, I've been putting a lot of nice stuff in there. We've got venom sacks and um, star uh, star balls growing there. We've got some grappuccino balls and we've got some uh, aquino cactus and stuff in here. Oh, might as well grab that for carbon. And back here, hey, look at that, my invisibility thing isn't working anymore. So these things are currently glitched, guys. I have to set one down consistently. Like, it's kind of an annoyance as I do have to place one constantly to get it to turn back on. So that's a thing. And as you guys can see over here, you see all these here? I actually went to the planets for those. I didn't use Quicksilver to buy them, as I don't do the Quicksilver missions very often. Um, but that means that I've gone to planets with all of these things here. And as you can see, you know, I've got plenty of them from tons of different places. You got a bunch of these, you've got a bunch of really cool. Anyhow, let's go ahead and show off some more. So this is a heavy generator room. You can see I've got my um, my weapon station and all of that. We've got some crossword and selenium down in here. We go up here and we've got our, you know, electric trade terminal. We've got a nutrient processor. We've got some venom sacks that grow up here. And that's pretty much it. I went and stuck some storage stuff up here and whatnot. But I always grab the ladder because I'm stupid. This is my main office area. We've got a couple of batteries and some generators. Yes, I stacked generators one on top of the other. Who cares? Got a nice little fireplace there. Da, da, da. But yeah, we've got our farmer in here. You can see we've got our farmer right there. I've got some more storage stuff here. We've got some thesium flour. We've got some more gravitino balls. This is our gamma root and stuff. We've got more of that over here with some more genocactuses. And coming over here, we've got this nice little thing there. Ooh, my album and pearl is about to be done on that one. And then, going to our big room, this will be this one that we've got the uh, lit up sign over. We have our gardening area. I'm saving those two spots for Mordite flower, by the way. These are album and pearl. You can see some stars. Um, star bulbs there, you can see the Grappuccino plants, a full row here of the um, Venom sack producers, and then we've got Nip Nip Buds. So we've got all of that growing, which is great. You come into here, and this is a nice little recreation room, as you can see. It's got a couple of little ga personal galaxies floating around in it. And then coming out this way, We've got this upper room here, which is actually connected to that lower room there, via a ladder that goes through the walkway there. But you can see I've got my little slime. I actually have a bunch of slime packs. We've got our, of course, stuff for changing our appearance whenever we change ship. Let's go ahead and climb down here. And there you go. So that's, no, go. Hey, right, so coming up this way, guys. Come up this way. In here we have a storage room. You can see all the storage containers and stuff. But if you come around this light path, you come over to here and we have a small power substation with batteries that are currently storing, which is perfect. We've got all of our solar panels up here on top of this. And then of course I went and put a bunch of those, a couple of those gold spacecraft, you know, the gold, that golden vector spacecraft or whatever we're up there on that and up there on that. We've got a bunch of these. Now, the only one that I've ever had a hard time finding for rare items is this one. I've only found one of these. I've also only found one of those hexa plate bushes and one of these bubble things. But I've literally only been able to find one of each of those. Um, as they actually spawn the rarest on the planet they spawn on. I think we've got a storm coming in, which is always great. Life support gel. 
there. Okay. So, let's see. What kind of an adventure do we want? Hey, we got, I think that's the pepper wood wheat growing right over there, which is perfect. We need that flour. And stay tuned, guys. In the next few days, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys the recipes for cake that I have learned. I know we don't need it anymore since Expedition 5 is over for the Redux. Um, when Expedition 6 starts, guys, I will absolutely be doing that one for you. Other than that, that's pretty much that page. Let's go ahead and get through the portal again, guys, and I'll show you another one of the bases. Let's see. I'll show you my portal base. This is portal to question mark, question mark, question mark. It won't let me take a photo and upload it. Because <laughs> there's a portal right there. Like, literally, it's right next to a portal. Um, which is intentional. I did that so that there was always going to be a marker at a portal in the Euclid Galaxy in case anybody wanted to, you know, play around with a portal. I do. I regret it most of the time, but I do play around with it, silly thing. Alright, so, as you can see, we've got our portal right here. And then this is my portal base. I've made certain specific comm station there so people can see. And it's just got a basic nutrient processor. Now the neat thing about nutrient processors is that you can access their ingredient storage from anywhere. So no matter where you are, if you have a nutrient processor down, even if you end up picking it back up, guys, you still have that. Yeah, and as you can see from here, guys, I have these questionably sweet cakes. I actually made all of those. <laughs> and it took a long time, let me tell you. Anyhow guys, so this is pretty much where my portal is. I did make certain to put a base here and a comm station and a save beacon. So if you see the base marker, save beacon, and the comm station, you know that you found my portal. Let me go ahead and move over to photo mode so you guys can see the planetary coordinates. They will be there in the lower left. So if you wanted to come to this planet, you absolutely could, because we've got this nice portal right here. So that way you guys, if you want to come to this portal, you can. Let me hop in my ship so I can give you guys the dead coordinates as well. So let's go ahead and switch to first person view so I can show you guys the current coordinates. Oh, I can't see those from here. You see, the thing is, I'm not playing with a controller, so I can't turn my head while I'm in the cockpit. So I can't see that for you guys. God. At least not in this one. But as you can see, it pops up with the statement of, Welcome to this portal, please use responsibly. Which is a good idea. <laughs> but yeah, in this one, I actually don't have a portal put into it yet. So we actually have to go into space. <laughs> we just, we've got plenty of things here. Also got stuff like there's a ancient ruin there. We've got a minor settlement that I can go to. Oh, we could even play some storm crystal gathering if we really wanted to. Hello. So let's take a look at this real quick, guys. I know I was going to show you guys my pieces, but I've shown you several. And this is making the video get long. So, let's invest this in flower here. Oh yeah, I've also got all my little sentinel guys. That's my pantry. That's little Layla. Hi there. How you doing? The electronic life form is trapped in some kind of temporal loop. They go through the same motions again and again. They shudder, look at me, and abruptly scream a half sentence in panic. Then the process begins again. They're somehow unstuck in time. Experiment disaster. Remove electron. Synthetic white black. Oh god. Experiment disaster. Okay, so yeah, he's panicking. Deactivate the electron. A villa charge surged through the air between us. The whiff of the zone is unmistakable. They jolt dramatically and then appear to calm. I do not know the precise nature of their experiment, but the Corvax seems relieved to be free from it. 
They thanked me profusely and offered him. Not a problem, buddy. I'm glad I could help. What do we got here? Oh, junk. I kind of knew that already. I had like a drink terminal. Got anything worth a crap? Nope. I kind of expected that. Alright, so let's go ahead and save this section, guys. One of my big things is I always want to make sure that I do that. Alright, let's go ahead and open this. That. I'm not going to open the box there. Let's see here. I don't think there's any very tech here. Cargo drop? Yeah, I know. It's right there. Right there. Yeah, a lot of the buried tech is just a bit of distance away from here. There's one at the tail end of this. But yeah, the moment I saw this thing, guys, I had to grab it. It was, uh, I went to a space station, and it just happened to be like, oh, hey, look. The moment I saw that come in, I was like, oh, man, I hope it's something like a Class B. Turns out it was a Class A. So Alright, so let's go ahead and get over the floor. I haven't moved up yet. Whoa. Oh yeah. Real quick uh, concept. On any fungal planet, guys, you'll find these. These are fungal molds. Lantos. They turn into things like runaway molds. They also become food and other things like that. So you want those. They're totally not far away. 15 minutes on foot, I that. I usually don't like bringing my ship too close to those anyways, guys, because the last thing I need is them finding a way to do damage to my ship. Uh, God loves the random terrain, and always makes some things appear inside of each other. Ah, what a beautiful day on this horribly toxic and radioactive planet. Wait, this isn't radioactive, just toxic. There are signals everywhere. Mommy, I'm afraid. Hey, look, we got another bunch of fungal mold, but I grow that stuff, so I actually don't need it. Hey, the storm clear. That's wonderful. Well, I don't need dihydrogen. I've got plenty of that. But it is always fun to just run around on the planets, you know? I will go over to an airless planet at some point, guys. In fact, I've got a perfect one that isn't based. I just want to get over here. We want to fight some of these sentinels off real quick. See if we can find a royal multi-tool. Um, also, guys, if you are looking for an area that it has royal multi-tool drops, um, I will show you... Um, the planet that I have found at least one that does that for it. Otherwise, I believe this one we're running towards should. Got a bunch of hazardous plants. Hey, giant beetle. Hi, beetle. All right. I need some of this condensed carbon. This is what I actually do need. Hopefully we don't know what sent and hold me doing this. I'm already going to have to deal with enough of them. Excellent. That's all I need. Mean, that we don't need them. Alright, alright. Continuing on. Man, we just barely avoided that guy, didn't we? Oof. I mean, I was saying, no. I was trying to be a jerk and do things and shoot me in my ass. Did you try and shoot me in my position, guys? No, I don't care. We may have to grab our ship. That's still quite a ways away. So. Come here, you pain in the ass. Now I will say this guy's this ship is awesome. It's got green sails and then there's a fancy sail. Oh.
You investigated me over me calling my ship? Signals are not necessarily the right things, are they? Alright, here we go. I'm gonna land a distance away. Just because I don't trust that. Uh, did a quick drink of coffee. Switch to the bolt caster. We have 5,000 rounds, so that should easily be enough to deal with this. Oh, look, you know, there's a bill hole. Like this is what you know, little healer boy. I'm way more damaging than you can heal. Alright, so we're gonna take out these sentinels real fast. Good. Not long, it's not. Go ahead, bring the reinforcements. I dare you. Oh, no reinforcements for you. No healing either. None of that. There will be. Yeah, see, you thought you were cool and you're gonna die. Alright. So but I didn't use to. I used to make the mistake of picking fights with these things when I could only do like 500 damage all together. I might need to be asked to get it with me. Good healing. Ah ha ah, ha, no healing. Where'd I go? You don't know. You can't see me. You poo, bitch. We're lucky this will give us a royal tool, which I can switch for. Yeah. Because I've got a bunch of junk tools that I can get rid of for those. Although, I should let you guys know, I do possess literally the rarest multi tool in the game. I have the Lightning Gold Royal multi tool at the Direct hit, Dave. Don't be rude. Oh no! I thought you shot to off the backup. You should go wide up, Jacko. I did. And this is how we make a mess, make a mess, make a mess. This is how we make a mess, deal with it. If you can't handle it, can't go. You got this.
Oh, you don't play so well, man. That's right. Running away, you coward. And again, like always, you grab first to see how it does that you can grab it. Grab it like that. Shoot it like that. Two brains for one flank. Go ahead and grab these dropped stuff. Because those will give us stuff. Alright! So, we took care of that. Let's take a look at what we got here. Uh, okay, so this one's just going to give you a class C, which we don't need. And I've already gotten the information out of this tower, so... And as you can see, there's nothing marking it. That means that this is not a tower you can get a royal tool out of. It's got a class C pistol in it. So pretty much worthless. But, good fight. That was great. That was fun. Alright, so we do have to get to the space station, guys. So, uh uh uh, this is an NSC. The last thing I want to do is accidentally hurt you. Oh, wait, actually, I need more to get in there. Exactly, I do actually need more to get so. I need the Mordite for uh, Mordite plant. Mordite flower. But did I land right next to a damaged container and never actually noticed? I did. Okay. What do we got here? Living slime, which is worthless. Alright. Let's see here. Nanite, so I'm okay with that. Let's go ahead and get to the space station, guys. We will then teleport to our nearest base. Well, we'll teleport to my house. Um, I'll teleport to my house, my uh, base, that's on the innermost area. I don't need you guys to find a very coordinate for that. Um, I will let you know there is a very large amount of community groups that are there. So please understand it is, um, it is a communal area where a lot of players have their bases. If you're going to build there, I recommend turning off PvP so that uh, people can't control you away at your community base. Because they will. There's always a pirate player, man. Like, that's just common. There's a lot of things. And then I'm sorry about my voice, guys. Uh, I got really upset at the football game I was watching. They got this kind of Alright, so let's go ahead and grab this. I think I already grabbed that one. I already grabbed that one. Okay. Sometimes those will, um, procedural errors will really generate back in, sometimes they won't. And yes, I know I sounded stupid in this one. I couldn't even say procedural. But that's beside the point. Probably. Probably not either. I don't know why I'm talking like this. Because I'm a fucking idiot. No. <laughs> well, at least now I know. Not sure what I know, but I know something. Alright. Yeah. So, we need to go to the other place. By the way, guys, you're going to start seeing a little bit of some slowdown. I've kind of been playing on this for a while. Uh... Let's see, this one's actually in the third galaxy, which is in the Calypso galaxy. But we 
are going to the base in half days. This is my on the rim of the inside of the Euclid Galaxy base. Um, it's on a planet that plenty of people have shared before. Um, there used to be an unclaimed base computer here. Um, it has long since been claimed, and even if you're completely disconnected nowadays, um, the last person to claim it, it, the first person to ever claim it, uploaded it. So that's a thing. Um, but you can still come to the planet itself, which is great. And like I said, guys, I'll go to photo mode to show you guys that. But this is just my beginning base here. Powers out again, which is normal. I'm pretty used to that. So, like I said, it's pretty much got an empty reactor. Oof. Sorry about that, guys. Okay, so, anyhow, here we are. This is actually literally the deepest into the galaxy you can get. You can see there are plenty of other places that, you know, people have saved. We've got some buildings and stuff around. But this is a paradise planet, so it is just beautiful. Let's go gather that star ball over there. I love this star ball spawn. I uh, love that it's a, it, it's also a bubbling planet, as you can see, like those bubbles that come up from the atmosphere, but it is just gorgeous here. There's um, somebody's settlement right over there. You can see plenty of players have their bases, their outposts, and settlements around, which is wonderful. I chose this spot because there weren't a lot of players nearby here, you know, and it gives me a nice little, you know, island kind of thing, a little islet, so to say for the base to be on, and it's, it, it's pretty good size enough to, you know, be cool pretty easily. There's not a lot of, like, plant cover, how I broke my ankles. There's not a lot of plant cover, guys, and this is a really pleasant spot, like, these two ag holes end up being around real often. Like, I'll get rid of them, I'll come back here later on, and there they are all over again, so there's not much I can do about that. Anyhow, guys, thank you so much for joining me today. You guys have been absolutely amazing, and I love your faces so much. Please remember to stay tuned for anything else that's absolutely amazing. And as always, guys, I love your faces. We will see you in the next amazing video. Bye, guys.